I recognize my ranking member of the subcommittee, Senator Graham, for his opening statement. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, obviously, I have a different view on this. Uh, my state just passed a voter ID law, and I want to congratulate the legislature in South Carolina in the future if the Justice Department approves this program. You'll have to have a driver's license or a DMV ID card. And what we've done in South Carolina is if you don't have a driver's license, you can go to a, uh, a, a Department of Transportation facility and get an ID card uh, that will allow you to vote and do anything else you need an ID for, uh, and we will give you a ride there. Uh, a, a passport, a military ID. We're going to come up with a voter registration card, which I think is a really good idea that's going to be uh, with a photo on it. You know, illegal immigration is something that <clears throat> bedevils the country, and the reason most people come here is to find work in America that they can't find in their native country because of corruption and lack of employment. So I understand why people come, but from an employer's point of view, it's hard to verify employment. So I, along with Senator Schumer, have suggested we take our Social Security cards and make them biometric, a photo, something that's tamper-proof, so when you get a job, the employer will know you are who you say you are. When you get on an airplane, you have to have some form of ID because we want to make sure that you are who you say you are because of the threats we face. And uh, when it comes to voting, I don't think it's too much of a stretch to say uh, you have to prove that you are who you say you are, and we'll find accommodating ways to get there. But uh, I just have a different view. I think what South Carolina did makes eminent sense to me, and uh, the law of the land, as I understand it, is the Indiana system's been upheld, and um, you will see more of this, Mr. Chairman, not less. Thirty states have some form of voter ID requirement. So I think this is the future of the country, something we should embrace at the federal level because elections do matter. Casting a vote should be uh, as easy as possible. It should require some participation. And I would end with this thought. Democracy is a fragile thing. We all have to work to make sure it, it survives. If you want to control illegal immigration, are you willing to do your part? Would you be willing to take your Social Security card, which can be duplicated, uh, by midnight, it's a piece of paper, and turn it into a biometric document to help the country secure employment? Would you, are you willing to show your ID card to get on a plane just because we're threatened by people uh, in the world and we need to know who they are? And the, all the uh, hijackers had five or six fake uh, driver's licenses. So I think sanctifying the voting process in, in a way that makes sense, to make sure that we're electing people based on registered voters is a goal that we should all be uh, concerned about, uh, want to achieve. And from a South Carolina perspective, uh, I have no desire to suppress people from voting. I want as many people as possible to vote and all of them to vote for me. And I know that's not realistic. And if you don't vote for me, that's okay. I want you to be able to vote, but I want you to make sure we do it in a way that preserves the integrity of elections, not just mine, but everyone else's. So thank you for um, the opportunity to speak. Mr. Chairman, may I be recognized for a brief? Uh, sure. The Senator Unanimous consent request. And